This is Twit. Okay, so while we're on the topic of password manager troubles, uh, we should touch on Norton LifeLock and more doublespeak being produced by corporations that have grown too big to need to care. Before we get to this, we should note that what was Nor- what was formerly Symantec Corporation and Norton LifeLock are now renamed Gen Digital, and they just refer to themselves as Gen. Uh, so, you know, now they're both living at GenDigital.com. You know, G E N D I G I T I L dot com. Uh, and since Symantec had been acquiring companies over the past few years, this new Gen Digital is now operating the brands Norton, Avast, LifeLock, Evira, AVG, Reputation Defender, and unfortunately, CCleaner, which, you know, was a beloved tool for a long time. Um, okay, so what happened this time? Around 6,450 Norton LifeLock customers were recently notified that their LifeLock accounts had been compromised. And by compromised, we mean that unknown malicious parties have somehow arranged to log into those 6,450 accounts, giving them full access to their users' password manager's stored data. Whoops. (laughs) That's not good. Uh, In a notice to customers, Gen Digital, you know, as I said, the recently renamed parent of this collection of companies, said that the likely culprit was a credential stuffing attack as opposed to a compromise of its systems. Now, this seems very odd since Gen Digital explained that, that by this, they meant that previously exposed or breached credentials were used to break into accounts on different sites and services that share the same passwords. But that wouldn't explain why there was apparently what appears to be a quite successful targeted attack against 6,450 of their users. You know, if these were username and password credentials leaked and or somehow obtained from other unrelated site breaches elsewhere, how is it that they just happened to all be useful against 6,450 of LifeLock's account holders. You know, that that doesn't smell right. Um, What I suspect actually happened is that LifeLock's web portal is or was lacking in brute force password guessing protection. You know, in, in this day and age, it is no longer okay for a website to allow a fleet of bots to pound away on its login page at high speed, hoping to get lucky. Um, Bleeping Computer also covered this news, and they posted a statement from Gen Digital spokesperson, which is the one I, I quoted, saying, quote, we have secured 925,000 inactive and active accounts that may have been targeted by credential stuffing attacks. Okay, so wait, first of all, 925,000 accounts and, quote, we have secured them? You know, does anyone know what that means? What does it mean? We have secured 925,000 inactive and active accounts that may have been targeted by credential stuffing attacks. Maybe they reset the password. Could it be? Uh Oh, my God, they could not have done a password reset on, on a, a million. million. No. I mean, it would be the end of life as we know it. <laughs> so they probably just sent an email out. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, maybe that's, oh, we'd let everybody know that, like, they might be hacked. So that we're going to call that securing the accounts. Oh, Lord. Anyway, you know, uh, I guess whatever they did, it's much better than if they had not secured them. Uh, okay, so since we're not actually offered any information, Leo, to your point, we don't get any these days, you know, we just get corporate PR speak, it's necessary to read between the lines. So my guess would be that Gen Digital currently has 925,000 Norton LifeLock customers, or accounts at least, some inactive, they wandered off, uh, and due to completely absent 
web portal security and a lack of monitoring for some length of time once bad guys realized that there was no security to stop them a fleet of bots was programmed to assault Norton LifeLock's login page guessing a crowd account credentials at high speed without limit and as a result of this lack of security that fleet of bots was able to successfully log in and compromise the accounts of 6450 Norton LifeLock users Gen Digital did admit that it had discovered that these intruders had compromised LifeLock accounts beginning on December 1st, 11 days before they're saying its systems, that is Gen Digital systems, finally detected a, quote, large volume, unquote, of failed logins to customer accounts. Well, that large volume would have been going on for weeks, right? But somehow they didn't see that the red flag finally went up on december 12th when lifelock became aware of it and presumably brought this attack to a halt so i suppose that's what they meant when they said that they had secured those 925,000 active and inactive accounts they basically halted an ongoing login attack after 6450 successful logins and full account compromise of those customers. When I read and, this, I thought, "Oh, it's a credential stuffing attack." I didn't, I didn't realize that they were br being able to brute force attack it. I just thought they were copying passwords from other breaches and trying them on LifeLock. Um, when they say that they on on the twelfth, a large yeah, volume of yeah. failed login attempts. But that could also be credential stuffing because you don't know who's reused passwords so you might have a database of uh, uh, you know 10 million oh oh i completely agree by brute force i don't mean you know start at 000000 oh, zero, zero, okay. zero, 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 zero. Yeah, yeah. i just mean let's try let's all see if the this passwords. password that we have works yeah. yeah yeah right yeah let's ask troy hunt for his master list yes we'll, that's right we'll we'll try right. them all yeah so it's yeah. not so, in a way that would it's i don't I have no reason to defend them, but this is why you don't reuse passwords because of these credentials. It is, it's absolutely why you don't. But also, if it took them at least two weeks before they saw, before something happened. So, so okay, so, so here's my theory. Um, you know, they're not saying how much earlier the attack was underway. So why 11 days from first successful compromise to first detection of an attack that had been ongoing for some time. If I had to guess, I would suggest that the bot fleet's attack was probably carefully throttled so as not to trip right. any alarms. Right. And that after some successful undetected logins, the bot fleet's operators may have started creeping its attack rate upwards they got, slowly. They, they got greedy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. To see how much faster they could go. And, you know, remember that before they were shut down, they'd successfully scored against 6,450 accounts. I mean, that's a lot of accounts. So, you know, things have been going well for the attacking fleet up in, you know, for like 11 days, at least from the first known uh, uh, compromise, you know, and the, tr you know, truth be told, we don't even know that they actually ever were detected. We don't know that's what tripped the alarm and raised the red flag. Given that they had been, you know, this the bots have been stomping around within 6,450 of LifeLock's user accounts, I would be surprised if some user out of 6,450 didn't notice that something was amiss and contact Norton to report suspicious account activity. So it may have just been, you know, the fact that they were tipped off by a victim and that, and they thought, oh, what? Maybe we ought to go over and look at that web server. And it's like, oh my God. And then they, you know, did whatever they said they did to secure all the accounts.
The world is changing rapidly. So rapidly, in fact, that it's hard to keep up. That's why Micah Sargent and I, Jason Howell, talk with the people making and breaking the tech news on Tech News Weekly every Thursday. They know these stories better than anyone. So why not get them to talk about it in their own words? Subscribe to Tech News Weekly and you won't miss a beat every Thursday at twit.tv.